This is Captain Tinsley, Salty Abandoned, with a Salty Quickie, and I'm at Gulfport Municipal Marina in Gulfport, Florida. So, I'm standing up here in this building here. Um, they said it was built about two years ago. That's the women's showers, that's the men's showers, and there here's a, uh, a day room. But, uh, here's the marina. These are all fixed docks. I'm over there on the transient dock. See, there's, there's my boat right there. It is a floating dock, which is just awesome. Uh, it's just so easy. I went ahead and reserved for two weeks, which that'll be over in a couple of days or a few days. So I'm just hanging out here waiting for this cold weather to go away. It's supposed to get warmer tomorrow. Right now it's in the 50s. So I'm just going to show you around here a little bit at Gulfport Marina. So I'm walking inside the day room, which is, uh, we got keys. We got keys to the gate, to the showers, to the laundry room, and to the day room. So this is locked up. And you can, I tried to get in here like after hours and it's locked up uh, with an even a more of a, it's more, it, you can't get in after that time. So um, you can just come in here and hang out. I could bring my computer up here and get some work done, watch TV, whatever. So now let's go over here to the showers. So they're really nice. I've never even seen anybody in here. So the light comes on automatically. You got you got two places here. So you got your own private area. It's very clean. Get the showers here. Very clean. And then you come into there's another one here. Nice. This one's also handicapped. There's also an elevator to get up here. So I just take the stairs, but there is an elevator, which is right here. So what I heard is this, this building right here was built two years ago. So it's all pretty new. So I just came down these stairs. Up there is where the day room and the showers were. And we've got pumps here. We've got a pump out. And over here you've got the laundry. Which I have used. Very nice. Very clean. Very up to date. So I think they were like uh, 225 per load, like per wash, per dry. 225 so here we are in front of the dock store there's another pump there nice floating dock to tie off to when you come up here to either pump out or uh, get some fuel nice uh, wide areas here for turning around there again is is my boat over there So I'm now going to walk inside the dock store, see if they'll let me film in there. Okay, so this is the marina store. It's where the boss is, I guess he's not here right now. Shirts for sale, fishing stuff, some snacks, some bait, drinks, and got some more food here. Got some uh, ice cream. And this is where I checked in. They do use Daqua. So you can just go on Daqua and reserve a reserve a slip here. And uh, what's your name? I'm Bob. Bob? Yeah. Hey, hey Bob. Right. Already did. Already did. Oh, you already saw Yeah, yeah. So. So here, here's the uh, front entrance. Everything's gated, by the way. At night, the I, you know I can't even get in here without a key. There's a gate on my end of the dock over there, 
And here's the launch, which is really nice. And so again, it's a city marina, very nice. Oh, see over there it says uh, ramp fee, $6. This is uh, floating right here, nice touch. A lot of times these municipal marinas are just so nice. walk over here and go to the front plenty of trailer parking out here and uh, I've been able to catch plenty of Ubers here lots of Uber drivers around so that's really convenient to go to the grocery store and when it's I did rent a bike so um, when it warms up tomorrow I'll be riding the bike again but so I'm gonna take you now over to where my boat is So this is the gate by my boat. Um, so at night this is locked. Daytime they keep it open. So it's very secure. So I can either walk this way to the boat or I can go down this way. So we'll just walk down here. There's a dog dolly used that yesterday when I came from, um, I had um, Uber take me to, um, to Walmart. So here, here's my boat. Now this story on this one right here, this boat right here, I met the guy, um, a captain who takes care of this boat for, I guess the people live in Rhode Island. I actually saw somebody here a few days ago, so I guess they came down, but um, captain comes and checks it out, makes sure everything's okay, takes care of any maintenance. This is the bike I rented. It is locked up, but even, this is a very secure marina. Um, I mean, you'd have to jump the fence, but it looks kind of painful up there. But love this floating dock. This is why I wanted to um, reserve a slip here. They have a limit, two weeks. Um, that guy over there on this, uh, I think it's 26. Can't remember. I've talked to him. He's got a really great story. He just bought that boat. He reserved on Dockwood for three weeks, and they didn't. They didn't uh, make you know. They didn't say you couldn't stay. So even though there's a two week limit, he's staying for three weeks. And this dock is awesome it's the transient dock it's floating those over there are not and you got to walk all the way around to get to those docks that's how you get to all those it's a long ways so uh there's uh it's very calm in here um there's no uh you know barges going by and shaking the boat up like at my marina at bear point marina or some of the others that are right on the intercoastal and it's just awesome. It's been very comfortable. Great internet. Great showers. Um, you know, I, I'd really rely on internet. And plus, I've got this Wi-Fi extender right there. Let me put this coffee down. So, but it's very consistent internet. And my Wi-Fi extender really makes a very strong signal inside the boat. So, if you're looking to come and stay a little while, if they have availability here, it's a little off the beaten path off the intercoastal this is a great marina the staff is is wonderful they greeted me they were very helpful they helped me come in and tie up i was initially down there in front of that um way down you can't see it now in front of a commercial boat but he was going to be in and out and so we moved down here they helped me move down here so uh that's it for now salty abandon out uh, one more thing. This is Ken who's on this boat down here. Just tell me one more time how big that boat is. It's 22 feet. That's right. 22. I was giving you three extra feet. Okay. It's a 76 <laughs> O'Day. Okay. All right. And, um, you know, it, it's a buyer's market for boats. Yeah. So if you don't need a new boat, right. look around because there's plenty of boats out there. Okay, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a separate video on you because okay. this one's already kind of long enough. But um, I think you have an interesting story too. Tell me what you're about to do. You're going over to the day room. I'm going over to the day room. Yeah. And I'm gonna I'm actually setting down to um, begin planning a new a new business venture. Oh, right here in um, Gulfport. It's gonna be sailing and celebrating sailing on the sun coast okay well we'll have to talk about that more in our next it's video be interesting. okay ken well thank so, you very much thank you, and, uh, it's salty bannon out